Hello, my little ponies, and welcome to another exciting episode of Geekasm, don't you know? It's time to lace up those good old LA lights, grab yourself a box of Ecto Cooler, hop into that DeLorean of yours, buckle your seatbelt, and floor it to 88 miles per hour. Because today, we are time traveling back to the top 10 cartoons of our childhood. Okay. So it's no secret that the era of Saturday morning cartoons is dead and buried in the shallow graves of the Vegas desert. But back in my day, we had these big talking turtles who would eat pizza all day and battle this guy with a can on his head and his brain buddy who lived in the stomach of a bald robot in a leotard. They've escaped again! Oh, this is getting very monotonous. Yeah, if you were a kid in the late 80s and early 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, that's the last time I let you sit on my lap and scare! Back before he was the germaphobic Lex Luthor on America's Got Talent, Howie Mandel actually had a pretty sweet-ass cartoon. A fort building, a fort is fun because, uh, well, it, it's good because it causes peace throughout the world, and it's fun because, uh, because... Bobby's world took us inside a kid's overactive imagination. <laughs> The show made us wish we had companions like Webley and Captain Squash to get into shit with. It also showed us that everybody has an Uncle Ted, except in real life he's a tad pedo rapey. What? What? Oh boy, he's a roast up real good! Like Pedo Bear. Right, Pedo Bear? <laughs> Our number nine cartoon is none other than the Radical Squadron, SWAT Cats. It alone deserves a spot on the countdown just because of the theme song. And this show about a couple of ex-cats turned high-tech vigilantes was gritty before we knew dick about what the word even meant. Let our powers combine and form Captain Planet! The show that made you feel kind of guilty for throwing your empty Dunkaroos package onto the ground in the park. <laughs> if the timing was ever right to watch a show about an environmentalist with a green mullet and his politically correct spectrum of cohorts, it would be now. The power is yours! Heart! The Real Ghostbusters was one of the few cartoons adapted from live action to actually stick and find a faithful audience. Plus, it gave us Ecto Cooler and a Pete Venkman that sounded a lot like Garfield, which is ironic seeing as Bill Murray later voiced the CG version of Garfield. You have any regrets? Garfield, maybe. Oh dear. Number six is easily one of the animated gems of the 90s. It's time for Animaniacs, and we're saying it to the max. The Animaniacs was a show whose humor ran the gamut and was loved by everyone. And it's, uh, it's kind of shocking to see the kind of shit they were able to pull off. No, no, fingerprints. I don't think so. It's amazing what you can do when Steven Spielberg is in your back pocket. Yeah! Gargoyles comes in at number five and somehow made medieval history and Shakespearean references enjoyable for kids. <laughs> Excluding Goliath, most of the gargoyles were named after boroughs in New York City. But our favorite gargoyle is Jersey. One of the originals, if not the best Nicktoon, was Red and Stimmy. A show that taught us the meaning of friendship, not to whiz on the electronic fence, and made us aspire to be rubber nipple salesmen. You know you still sing along to Happy Happy Joy Joy in the Log song any chance you get. What's great for a snack? It's on your back. It's long, long, long. People always look at me weird when I'm driving. The heroes in a half shell surface at number three. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, more than any other cartoon, captured our childhood perfectly. No other attempts at revitalizing the series has done justice to the world's most fearsome fighting teams. 
as the original still remains the best. They sure don't make them like that anymore. Lest we forget the short-lived live-action TV show. Speaking of TMNT, I'm reminded again of Michael Bay's debauchery. And he's shooting a film in Miami right now. I should just walk up to his trailer and punch him in the face. <laughs> Remember how badass the Disney afternoon was? And the crown jewel of the lineup was none other than Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck of mystery, to be all right. He was indeed the terror that flaps in the night. His supporting cast of characters and incredibly deep rogues gallery rivaled that of the other Darkwing hero he was lampooning. And one of our favorite episodes is still the Dark Knight Returns inspired Time and Punishment. I don't think so. Speaking of our dear Dark Knight, we finally wrap up the countdown with our number one cartoon of yesteryear. Batman! The animated series is arguably one of the best cartoons of all time, and the best adaptation of our Caped Crusader. The series gave us some amazing animation, introduced us to Harley Quinn, and gave Luke Skywalker some post-Jedi voiceover work as the Clown Prince of Crime. If it's a flow you want, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Well, that does it for us, folks. Lord knows I'm ready to receive all the hate comments on how King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, James Bond Jr., and The Hurricane didn't make it on the list. But you know what? It's my fucking show, and I'm here, so go flashy to derelict. And for the rest of you, stay geeky, my friends! Joy, joy! Hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Stinky Wizzlefeet. This is a song about a whale. No! This is a song about being happy. That's right. It's the happy, happy, joy, joy song. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. I don't think you're happy enough. That's right. I'll teach you to be happy. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. Now, boys and girls. Let's try it again. Happy, happy, joy, joy, 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 joy. If when you ate the granddaddy of all liars, the little critters of nature, they don't know that they're ugly. That's very funny. The fly marrying a bumblebee. I told you I'd shoot, but you didn't believe me. Why didn't you believe me? Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, 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 happy,